Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're hitting into prison on professional. Now I'm going to be doing something similar like we did on high school. I actually really enjoy just walking around and kind of just enjoying the locations because I've spent so much time on the small maps. It's fun visiting these bigger ones. Now the first thing I'm going to look for is this cursed item, which for once I don't see it here. And I did put it on professional. Oh, it's the Ouija board. I didn't know this would be thrown on the floor over here. Okay, well, I know where the breaker is, and it's actually in a pretty good spot. But I did check, and we're at 97% for the second badge in the second tier of the Blood Moon event. So I really need to be getting back on to doing that. But like I mentioned, I did want to play some of these bigger maps to show any new players what it's like on the bigger maps. So the breaker, though, this time is right in here. And that's another location I kind of forget about. Now we just kind of heard that noise, but I think that was an ambient noise in this map. And here's the old breaker for the medium maps too. This was on high school, but I kind of forget about this old breaker board. Now I'm going to focus on walking around and just seeing if I can hear a ghost. But also, something I want to do is go back to the truck and look at the cameras. And maybe see if we can find a ghost orb on one of the 12 cameras. So, uh, another thing is maybe I should get some lights on so actually I do want to do that before we go into a full investigation I, it's weird to turn the breaker on because it'll probably get turned back off but if we don't get hunted at least these light switches will be on what was that in the wait a minute how close was that door that was a jail door it's a oh man was that right here that had to have been this one. Oh no don't be in here the thing is, yeah, it's freezing everywhere. We're going to see our breath everywhere until the breaker gets turned on. Okay, it turned off the light in here, right? Oh, it turned off both hallway lights. So did it do an event or did it just decide to turn off the lights in this hallway? Oh boy. Before we lose too much sanity, let's try and make a plane of attack. We do have a hiding spot here. I want to get this hall light on, and then I'm going to go back to the truck. That... Let's go look at this. That was really close. That wasn't over an eight block like I initially thought. Is there a door? Maybe it's like right in the same room. Oh, you are. It was this door. Okay. You. Wow, what a setup for prison. The ghost is right next to the breaker and also kind of close to the entrance. And <laughs> We do have a hiding spot out there. And the thing is, the ghost can't actually get over there until it comes out here. So that is a good hiding spot still. Well, I like this area to have a ghost. As I've kind of said a lot, uh, a lot of these rooms on these bigger maps I'm not used to having a ghost in, and I think maybe one time we've had a ghost in here? Not on the channel though, a long time ago. I think when this map first came out I kind of remember having a ghost in here. Definitely on the other side, but I remember being in here a couple of times when this map first came out. So is there not a light in this room? Of course there's not. But there is a light for this room, not that it's going to help me too much. I wonder if, like, this all counts as one room? This is probably its own room. This might all be considered one room, though. Alright, I have enough door touches that I should really want my UV in here. But I guess it's time to drop stuff off. Now, I don't really need to go too far around this time. I got kind of lucky with the positioning here. Now, I never turned on the light in here. Oh, okay, I guess we don't have this spot. Well, I can... This is the best area to like break line of sight and get away from the ghost. And like actually even coming in here and hiding can kind of work. But sometimes the ghost actually just won't check in here. But I don't think I'm going to rely on that. If anything, I will just loop around the second floor and just run away. That's the thing on these bigger maps is you actually have the ability to kind of just run away if you can break line of sight and it's not a fast ghost. But we're not getting hunted and the breaker's still on. So I'm going to get more stuff, but I... I'm going to see what cameras we have in that room already. I don't know if there's a camera for that interrogation room. There probably is, but I'm going to see. Insanity looks good. Yeah, we're working with just these rooms right here, which is a very interesting location. We already got a ghost event. See, that was a ghost event? I guess it explains why all the lights got turned off, but I never witnessed it, really. Need a photo. And then cleanse. So I don't know what will happen with the photo. Where is this? This is, okay, one to one of the cell blocks. That's the other one. See, this is, oh, wow, you can see the snow coming through. 
I have had games where you can look here and you'll see a ghost orb up here and then it's like immediately you know where the ghost is. So that's why I kind of wanted to do this one time. We already know that the ghost is not going to be out here. But it is funny to see all the snow in there. And I hate how when you change camera, it default goes off the night vision. Wow, I didn't even know some of these cameras existed. Oh, where is this? See, this doesn't even look... Oh, this is the hallway. I was about to say, this doesn't even look like the map. This is the main hallway. Alright, two more cameras. This is... Second floor. And then again, second floor. So no, there's not a default camera in the interrogation room, which is weird. You'd think the security guards would want to monitor any prisoners in there, but okay. So, Sanity, I'm gonna leave. Let's just focus on getting evidence in there. It t it's been touching the door a lot. Uh, I don't really know... Maybe if it goes down to freezing, the whole cold room thing. I don't know, maybe the breaker being on does heat up the building enough, so maybe it's been heated up. But let's get the thermometer just to try and see exactly what room it is making cold. And then, let's just get another evidence item. So I'll look for ghost orbs. And yes, the breaker is still on, so could be a gin, but that would be a pretty lucky case right off the bat. It's a, it amazes me how you can drain such less sanity on a bigger map. Other than then you go to Point Hope and then your sanity is just gone. Let me check in this little hallway, I guess. See, I walk in here and see my breath. So yeah, I think after you get the breaker turned on, all the rooms will heat up. I think I would see a ghost orb in here turn off my headlamp. No, I don't see anything in here. I'd see it against that black background for sure if it went across it. So yeah, but is my breath cold in here? Ooh, okay, opposite of a mare? <laughs> I turned it off and it wants the light on. Maybe I should check that EMF. I'm gonna, like, place this down, I guess. Any UV? I don't know if I just heard something. I'm gonna put that near the door. Jesus. Is there... Right. There's not a light for in here, so I'm, like, relying on the light coming out here. I don't have my own headlamp on, that's why it got so dark. Okay, well, it's a reverse mare. Ah, uh, I don't, we're just trying to get the evidence here. So, <laughs> I know it's not a mare, but in the end, I'm probably gonna get the evidence to figure that out anyway. Oh, there we go, finally, something. I haven't been getting fingerprints on the uh, light switches, so that's interesting. I'm glad that's still working. Okay, UV, so obviously, there we go. We know it's not a mare. What are the odds of it being EMF? Kind of good. And... Jin, yes, it could be a Jin. Wow, this would be a strange... I mean, Jin's ability would be pretty good on this map with this long hallway. So. Um, oh, I don't... The big light is there. Let's scan with this since it's in my hand. I want to walk in here. Alright, there we go. That was a quick turnaround. So, yeah, I guess this all does count as one room. I'm surprised you're not, like, back here or something. Hmm. It seems like the ghost is liked out here more, but maybe that's... I mean, it was playing with the light, but that may have been just because I touched it. So then I should be looking for ghost orbs kind of better. Where was the light switch for in here? Was it oh, in the room? Oh my god. I, it's hard to see with this. Damn, I don't even know. How did... Was it in here? Oh, it is... Wow, I didn't even notice that. Was that already on when I came in here? Alright, I just want to scan for ghost orbs properly in the dark here. I don't think it's going to troll me with being behind these dividers. Well, that's where the phones are hanging. Oh my god, that was like one of the most powerful throws ever. Oh, I thought that was the phone. I thought it ripped the phone off the wall. Could it be a poltergeist? Oh, it could be. That was an insanely strong throw. Like, I've been seeing strong throws, but that was like the fastest I've ever seen something. And that's the thing. There's not a lot in here for poltergeist to do an ability. I'm gonna set this down. I've been in the dark enough. Nothing on that. Let's go ahead and put that away since we don't need it. I'm gonna turn on the light. Let me see if I can start piling up some stuff in here. Because the thing about a poltergeist is, apparently it really has no strength if there's nothing for it to throw. And with that one big throw, and with it potentially being a poltergeist since we do have UV, I'm gonna put all this stuff here. Now, yeah, it would be writing, would not be freezing, wouldn't be EMF, or ghost orbs, or dots, so it would be spirit box. Okay, let's get spirit box and writing in here. 
but also maybe let me make sure what, pretty much everything in here is all in one spot so if it interacts with something it's gonna be this okay there's really nothing else in here though did i see something on the floor no so i mean i could throw more stuff like this in here i don't have the inventory space let's just throw all this down and maybe it'll do its ability on that Actually, maybe I do have the in inventory space, you just can't pick this stuff up. Okay, I can't pick up the open one, but I can pick up this one. Let's just take this, pile it up. I'm gonna hope the ghost doesn't go over there and do anything. I know closing that door won't make a difference. But I have my camera on this pile, so I could, like, check the camera in the truck. But let's get the other evidence in here for poor pol Poltergeist, because that's the only really lead I have right now. And the funny thing is, is I can go into this visitor and actually kind of look from the other side. That's a, wow, that's so cool about this map, is like, if you're over here, you can like see the ghost in there. Hmm. So if it like started hunting, I'd like see it, but it wouldn't see me. I don't think it can see through glass like that. I mean, it can't even see through those doors when they're closed, so. Doesn't look, doesn't look like you're back there. Well, at least you broke out the light over here. See, that's the thing about a ghost event. It's over there, but it vented over here, so. This is not its room because my cold, or my breath is not cold. Oh, thank you for terrifying me. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Thank you for reminding me. I should just not <laughs> try and taunt you. Oh, was, that's the fence. Oh, I thought that was an explosion. Well, of course, the other two evidence. Ooh, that looks kind of like AMF 5, but that was... A four from the event so that was the thing that could be a red herring for the five that was the ghost event sanity is actually still good so let's get the writing in the spirit box and then do i get a smudge for safety i guess so i'm gonna need to smudge at some point anyway all right well i just realized so much for you know roaming around prison for a while but high school is a bigger map and sometimes i mean even on high school you can get the ghost right at the entrance so I guess that ended up happening here and it's not exactly at the entrance but it is a cool spot for prison and i'll take anywhere other than the cell blocks all right touching that door again twice actually i want to talk on the spirit box since you're right here i hate how i gotta go around this door to turn on the or turn off the light are you here are you friendly are you close you threw one thing are you here there's there's spirit box, phantom, or mimic. Now, I've not seen ghost orbs, so I don't think it's going to be mimic. But maybe the ghost orbs were following the mimic. Okay, I'm going to throw that back down. That was a horrible noise. So, yeah, no ghost orbs. And the ghost has been around here the whole time. So, I think I would have seen it. And I've checked multiple times for the orbs. I don't think it's going to be in here. The ghost is not, like, roaming. So I'm going to say not a mimic. I really think this is a poltergeist. We just got to get lucky enough and get the ability here. It just threw something. Put the book down. I want my big light now because I have the light off in here. I don't know if I want to leave it that way. Whoa. It was like bouncing something. I could get hunted and kind of easily tell. I think I know like... Oh, it is throwing a lot, but now it's throwing stuff over there. So maybe it can, like, go through the wall. No, there's no way. It's just interacting with stuff over there. It is throwing a lot of stuff now. I mean, this has to be the room. It just sucks that... Why did it go over there now? Oh. Okay, well, stay over here then. Now you have a chance to write. Or just, like, throw that. I'm gonna look at this for a minute. I really need to see if you're gonna throw that. The only other thing is Phantom or Mimic. Now, I should keep my cam on me just in case we get the phantom camera or the photo but also i need the photo for the objective well i just need this book i don't know i don't even touch one thing this is a good idea to set up stuff like this for the poltergeist ability but for a phantom like what could i do what's the other one for a phantom it's not going to be mf dots we've not seen the ghost orbs and that was just like one thing yeah it was just these again oh yeah that was a strong throw though at least i think i didn't really see it i am sitting in the dark kind of just letting my sanity drain i could use the ouija board but i don't really feel any <gasps> oh that was the ability and i just missed it ah okay well i mean that was textbook and that was perfect and it... it touched the door 
I touched the door to like trick me. I'm gonna smudge. Actually, oh god. Oh, not you again. Well, here's the thing. I, I gotta... Oh, she definitely saw me. Just keep going, just keep going. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna walk. No, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. That was the locker back there. I think I'm okay. Oh, why did I have to miss the damn alter ability? I was staring at it so long. Well, at least we're right for once. Is this hunt over? No. I'm gonna listen. Alright, well, we know it's the poltergeist. God, I wish I could have seen that. I'll try and set him up again, and maybe that'll happen. But we should have the smudge, and then just photo of the ghost. So I'll take sanity, set that up again, and try and get a photo of the ghost through an event, through an event and just kind of also sit around looking for this, and actually, you know, get this ability on camera. So, alright. I also need to get all the damn lights back on. Here, I'll hit this one. Then I'm going to go take sanity, and... I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna need another smudge, but I don't know. Let's we'll see what I get. Of course, I brought my camera back with me and my light. Okay, well, I guess I'm only bringing one thing back. The main thing was just taking the sanity. So, let's just take sanity all the way back up. That should be good. So, maybe just one more smudge, and then I'll sit in there with the camera. Oh my god, the activity's going crazy, so. There, full sanity. Let's just go sit in there, look for another. Maybe I just did the ability. Maybe that's the 10, so. I may have just done another one and I didn't get to see it. But this time I'm going to sit in here with the camera, set up this polter pile, and then see if we can get it on camera. I kind of want to go in here. God. And throw some things like away, just so that way the ghost won't mess with stuff through the wall. See, it's doing stuff still. I think that could have been another explosion. There's a couple things thrown out of this room. I'm going to run around here. We still have 100 sanity. Or at least, I'm counting down from 100 now. Well, let's get these lights on. I'll turn... I don't want to... I don't think that would have taken a photo, but... I just want to get these lights on. Drop this here. I'm going to keep the camera on me, and just in case. I'm going to drop this, and look, yes, of course it's written. Alright. Take everything you threw. Yeah, that went so fucking far. Alright. Hey, look at it, it went all the way back here. This is... Okay, there's a big difference between poltergeist throws and, like, normal throws. I've been seeing really strong throws and thinking, like, wow, that could be a poltergeist, but, like, it's not even comparable. All right, well, I feel like there had to have been more stuff in here. Oh, and there was. Yeah, here's the cup and another notebook. Here's all my stuff. That should be good. Is there anything else in here I can take? I'm gonna miss it running in here for something else. I'm gonna I'll grab this. I want to get these far away here. I'm I'm gonna miss it if I keep doing this. I mean, there's no guarantee. Maybe. Okay, there's my photo opportunity. Too bad I don't have my good light. Oh, oh wow. Okay, you were right in front of me. So there's the photo. Maybe. No. Wait. Please. What is this game? The stupid stool was blocking the photo. I'm glad I looked. Mid event. I'm glad I looked. Okay. Please don't do it. I'm trying to figure out my inventory here. Alright. There. I'm going to stare at this pile for a little bit. I really should just, like, there not have too much out. I don't even need the camera anymore, so there. I'll just look at it like this. I'm going to sit here. And I want to get this poltergeist explosion, so I will sit here until this happens, or I get hunted, but I think I'm technically in the light, even though I'm over here in the dark. So let's sit here until this happens, damn it. I will not let this get by. I know I'm at high sanity. And this will happen, and if it just keeps doing stuff, I mean, I don't have to be at low sanity for it to do its ability. And I feel like if it detects a large amount of stuff together, it's going to throw it. I mean, I don't know how big of an area the poltergeist has to when it does its ability. Like, if it was standing here, would it just throw a whole bunch of stuff in a wide area? I feel like you almost have to pile stuff for it to throw a lot of things. Well, I, instead of walking around prison, I guess I'm going to be sitting here. Because I really do want to experiment with the poltergeist here. And it happened just right out of view. The damn thing touched the door, and made me look at the door, and then it did the explosion. So it literally made me look away right before it did it. 
I could open that book and take a photo. I don't, I'm not worried about photos or making money. I'm just worried about having fun, and that's why I'm truly trying to get this. The main thing, though, is I'm at such a high sanity, it's not really doing anything. I don't want to sit in here in the dark, because I want to see this with the light on. So I kind of just need the ghost of maybe doing, like, an event or something to lower my sanity. I could use the Ouija board, but I'm at the point where I don't want to leave this spot, and I don't want to miss this if it happens. Oh my god, okay. Well, it's still, it's, it's banged the door once, or moved the door twice, and banged the window once. This is a really, like, creepy, unique wave. I'm not even playing, I'm just kind of sitting here, like, examining the ghost, seeing what it's gonna do. And for a poltergeist? It's not even thrown one thing, but I, again, I'm at high sanity, so I'm hoping that even though I'm in the light, it's draining my sanity a little bit. I don't, mm. there's no way I'm not draining any sanity just by sitting here. Like, I have to be slowly draining some sanity, right? Okay, how is a poltergeist not thrown anything? It really should be t detecting all this stuff. I'm still holding out though, I want to see this. It's been a while since I've like done a po proper poltergeist, and I don't even remember the last time I did like this on the channel, so I really want to see this happen, and I would love to show it to anyone new to Vasmophobia, because you kind of saw it when it happened earlier, like it, it was crazy, it took this pile and threw everything, threw it all the way down there, so I don't know if polter poltergeist got even stronger, but I am like realizing their throws are crazy compared to even like a strong normal ghost throw. And when you're being hunted by one, if a ghost throws it like immediately back to back, like just rapid fire machine gun throwing, that's when it's a poltergeist. Like a ghost can throw something repeatedly, but there'll be a m much more noticeable delay. Like if it moves something like immediately back to back, like almost instantly, then it's a poltergeist. But now this poltergeist is only touching doors. Please like come through here and realize this wonderful pile you can explode. This kind of sucks, but I'm hoping that being in here drains my sanity. My, oh, my light, or my vision is changing. I think the lights just flashed. I'm going to keep holding out, though. This poltergeist has got to do something eventually. Oh, my God, see? Good things come to those who wait. Holy shit. See, that's the power. How far did one of these things go this time? I mean, they kind of hit the wall here. Did, oh, didn't this go from that? I think it did. Oh, I, that, that one I was watching for. Okay, see, that's why it's worth messing around with some of these ghosts. All right, it's probably extremely pissed off at me now, though. But see, they say a poltergeist is powerless in a room without items. Well, when you take all those items and put them in one spot, that's when you see the poltergeist's true power. Ah, there we go. So the funny thing is, we got all the objectives, we got the thing, I'm not going to worry about photos, I mean, guess what, I'm sitting here, so I'll take a photo of this, and then I'll take a photo of this, and I mean, there's two, and we got the ghost photo, so I think I'll just go ahead and get on out of here. Okay, well, uh, let's see one more photo. Alright, do you want to do anything? You know what, let's try and actually, Sarah Robinson, give us a sign. Alright, well, you're letting me farm photos. That's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna drop this. Where's my UV? Because you're supposed to be a UV ghost, so maybe I can farm photos. Uh, here it is. I know I dropped it out here. So there's gonna be maybe UV on here. Here we go. Okay, let that charge. There's a photo. Is there any UV on here? Okay, those are looking a lot bigger than I remember. Wow, okay. Never mind. I guess we are farming some photos. The thing is, we won't get a perfect game, but... Uh, do I bother staying for two more? I don't think my sanity is low enough to really get me hunted. I mean, I could use the Ouija board. Do I like get an interaction on the Ouija board and then take a photo? I mean, I could sit here and wait for, I kind of want to, like I've been sitting here so long. Might as well wait and get two more photos and at least feel like this was a complete game. It's not perfect because I didn't find the bone, but I can get two more photos from a UV ghost. Come on, and that one I already got. Anything on the lights? No. Sarah Robinson, give us a sign. You might want to th throw some stuff. I mean, it is barely individually thrown items. It did, you know, out over there for that moment. Ah, uh, thank you. 
Two more photos. All right, I guess we're not gonna see this ghost again. But at least I can say I got a bunch of photos. And I'm actually doing my job here as a ghost hunter. So there, with that complete of a game and also seeing such a cool abil ability, let's get on out of here. And I don't think I'm gonna get hunted on my way out, so let's see if I make it. <gasps> oh, that's... Bleh. I didn't even see you. Now, if you hunt, you're actually gonna kill me. See, these ghost defense can be crazy. As long as you're in like the general area of the ghost, it can almost teleport to you. And it's not really teleporting, but when an event happens, it's like the ghost can kind of teleport to you, you know? So, like the ghost room was over there, but since I was like two rooms away over here, it still did a ghost event and ended up in this main area. So it, I don't know. Was that really teleporting or was it just doing an event? Wow, poltergeist. Thank you. And also the blood moon still sounds horrible. 1600. There, a couple dailies, play a medium map, so. All right, that was still really good though. I mean, yeah, medium map. I mean, it didn't feel like a medium map with that room. 88 interactions, six events. Now let me see, I wanna, how many abilities? Three, so I did miss one. I think I had heard one in there, so there were only three though. So if I only missed one, I think it was one that I missed. I mean, it was, cause I saw the other two. And then B block top left. Yeah, like I was gonna find that. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.